We'll start this tutorial with a brief description of what it will be uh, covering so you can decide whether uh, you want to watch it or not. Uh, this tutorial will do the following. This tutorial will show you how to install a free NX server on a Linux machine. It will show you how to install and connect to a Linux machine running a free NX server from a Linux client running OpenNX. <coughs> Why, what does this technology provide? Why do you care about it? Well, the NX technology will provide Linux users that traditionally ran their applications by tunneling the X protocol through SSH with a way to run their GUI applications much, much faster, um, especially if the users were, users were running over DSL, cable, or dial-up modem. The NX technology will also give uh, people who are using Linux remotely a full desktop experience when running on a remote machine remote machine rather than the traditional command prompt view uh, there's also a, another uh, video on uh, the Mr. Linux info channel that will show you how to connect to a Linux machine that's running the free NX server uh, from Windows uh, using uh, no machine NX. Okay, and then we'll get started. And there we go. <clears throat> okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into a remote server. And I'm going to use SSH to log in because I don't have NX set up on it yet. And this server is called FreeNX Demo. Um, I happen to have it defined in my host file. And this will take us to the machine that we want to go to. And I have a private key on, or a public key on it. So my password protected private key will get me in. Okay, in order to install the FreeNX server, it's pretty easy. You're going to type yum. Oh, this is running on CentOS 6.4. You're going to type yum install free nx and then nx and then hit enter <coughs> and it will go out to the repositories. These uh, the software is all on either uh, the CentOS base or the CentOS extras, so you don't need to add any extra repositories. Now it'll download the packages and now it's going to uh, check everything out, make sure everything's in sync, and now it's going to go ahead and install what it needs for the FreeNX server. Okay, and that's all it takes to install it. Um, there's a little bit of configuration that needs to be done. Um, NX server. We'll just make sure it is up and running. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's running. And the last thing we'll do is we'll type uh, the NX setup command. Okay, now everything is set up. Uh, we'll just take a look at two quick things on the server. Okay, the free NX server is uh, in the check config file and on run levels 2, 3, 4, and 5. When uh, the machine starts, the free NX server will run. And currently doing. Uh, I have to spell the server correctly. 
and the free NX server is up and running. Okay, so that's all there is to installing the free NX server, and I've run this on machines running NIS and didn't have to do anything else. It understands the NIS IDs. I'm assuming that it would um, also understand LDAP uh, authentication. Now, uh, what we're going to do next is, uh, oh, to an, I've exited out of the um, server, the FreeNX demo server, and I have gone back to the client to install uh, the client portion of this on Linux. You just type yum install openNX, and actually I have to be sudo to do that, or uh, root. And this is actually going to fail because it should already be installed, and it's already there. If it wasn't installed, it would go ahead and install it, similar to what happened when you installed the FreeNX server. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and... Uh, start the connection wizard. Let me pull that over here to the middle so it's well positioned. And the, this will help us make the connection to the uh, FreeNX server. And the uh, machine, the, the top thing up here where it says session, this is just text that's basically going to go in a little icon that's made uh, for your session. So that anything can go in here. I'm just going to call this uh, Free and X demo uh, server uh, example. And the host, uh, again, I have that defined in my host file. You could either put an IP address in here, or if you have a uh, domain name, a fully qualified domain name, uh, in this case, I can say free and X demo. Uh, and then we're going to go through port 22. Uh, we're, I'm using DSL to go into this uh, particular uh, server. Okay, uh, in the next screen, uh, I hit next, and in the, in the next screen it says Unix. That works for Linux. Um, running CentOS 6, so, and I used GNOME. Uh, for the available area, you can choose any of these. Um, I'm going to choose the 1024 by 768. I want it to fit in the little demo that we're doing here. And then I click Next. Um, I want to keep everything encrypted, so no passwords or anything like that are flying across the wire. And I would like a shortcut created on my desktop. And then it gives me a login screen. And I have a user ID called NX user defined on the remote machine and I have a password defined for that user and then I will go ahead and click login and I'll pull this on over it comes up with a uh, actually a screen that will um, look like you were logging into the desktop if you were logging onto that machine. So this is actually the remote machine and I can do something like come up and run the calculator or any other application. I mean I could run MATLAB or and this is actually running across a DSL line and it's got it's got real good um, real good response time. So that's all there is to setting up a free NX server and setting up the client uh, on Linux. Uh, I hope this was useful and um, we'll see you later.